Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to create this super soft brown smoky eye. We're going to start off applying a little bit of coconut oil under our eyes. This is just going to be really nourishing and just help your makeup sit lovely and hydrated and not drying. We're going to start with our eyes today and I'm using the Giorgio Armani High Precision Retouch Concealer in the shade 3 and I'm just blending that in with my Beauty Blender. We're then going to go in with the Chanel eyeshadow. This is in a cream eyeshadow stick in the shade 187. And I'm literally just going to draw this all over my lid from my lash line to my crease. And then I blend it through with my finger. This is the perfect base. Literally one layer of this is good to go. Like it does not crease. It doesn't make your makeup sit funny. It is gorgeous and it lasts all day. So we're using this soft peach shade first from the Christian Dior... Amber Design number 708 palette. All our eyeshadows are coming from here today. And then I'm going to go in with this brown shade. So this has got kind of like gold flecks in it. And I'm going to lay this all over my lid using a much smaller brush. We're taking this all over that Chanel cream eyeshadow. So all the way from the lash line to the crease. And then we're going to head back into that fluffy brush and blend it all out to make sure it's totally seamless. We're then going to repeat this step again to build up the intensity of the eyeshadow. I do this twice but if you need to you can do it more whatever suits the eyeshadows you already have. So lay it on, make sure you get it nice and full coverage and then blend that crease again. So we're going to then take the eyeliner from this set which is number 5 and I'm actually using the brush that it comes with and I'm just drawing a rough line. This does not need to be neat, you're not going to see it because we're now going in with the black eyeshadow and we're just going to press that over the eyeliner. This is going to give a lot of depth and make your lashes look super full and just really finish the look off. So I'm going to use a black eyeliner on my waterline, this is the YSL waterproof one and I'm also lining my top waterline as well. So for brows, I'm going in, as always, with my rosy Biotograph um, eyeline, no, brow, <laughs> brow pencil, the brow definer, and I'm just drawing them on. I comb them up first with the spoolie, fill them in, and then I comb through them again. This is really creamy, so you do need to comb through them a second time just to melt all that creamy, waxy product into all of your brows. So I've just thrown on some Ardell Wispies as well, just to finish off the eyes. I love these lashes, they're so nice. So I've applied my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation like always, and I'm now going back in with that Armani Concealer in the shade 3, and just creating a small triangle under my eyes. This is going to be a much more natural foundation look than what I usually go for. We're not using any powders, this is just creams and looking healthy and dewy. So I just blended that in with my Beauty Blender and then we're going to go in with this um, YSL Sunkissed Blur Perfector Healthy Glow Balm Powder. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Um, this is basically a cream bronzer that then turns to powder. So I'm just buffing this in using my Ray Morris Kabuki brush all down the usual areas where we bronze. So the cheekbones, forehead and jaw. I'm then going in with this lovely hot pink cream lip and cheek tint by Ted Baker and I literally just draw it on my cheeks and then buff it in with that same brush. This is going to mix the bronzer and the blusher together really nicely. So to finish off our cheeks I'm heading in with the NARS Dual Intensity Jubilation Highlighter. I spritzed my brush first with some of the Evian Hydration Mist and then I'm just applying this directly onto my cheekbones really lightly and then also the tip of my nose my cupid's bow and I also pop a little bit on my forehead. So to finish off our eyes I'm just running some of the Burberry Eye Definer Pencil in Midnight Ash number 3 under my lower lash line. So for lips I really couldn't decide, it was a mix up between the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dainty Lip Gloss, the Kiss of Fire Liquid Lipstick by Dose of Colours and this number 7 High Shine lip crayon. That's what I chose just because I thought it was really fresh and fun for spring and that is the finished look. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and until next time, I'll see you soon.